Welcome to episode 2 of our Shark Bay holiday video. If you haven't yet seen episode 1, there's a link to it on the screen. This episode starts with us returning to our second night at Big Lagoon Camp area in Franco Perrin National Park. We got back from Cape Perrin just before sunset, so we broke out the fishing rods and tried our luck fishing in the channel of the lagoon. We spent the evening fishing with the girls. We didn't catch anything, but enjoyed the awesome sunset nevertheless. I don't think I'll ever get used to the Western Australian sunsets. In the morning, we packed up camp and said farewell to the camp host. The couple looking after the campsite off offered us a lot of support getting the Discovery back in working order. They couldn't have been more helpful. Leaving Big Lagoon was the start of our journey south to Perth. This is the track from Big Lagoon south to Perrin Road. The track is in fairly good condition and Discovery had no trouble with 18 psi in the tyres. There's a tyre filling station at the end of the track. I still brought out the portable air compressor which allowed me to fill up one side while Heather completed the other side with the air fill line. Once we were clear of Franco Perrin National Park, we stopped in the small town of Denham. We topped up our fuel and grabbed something from the bakery for lunch. We also used the good phone reception to sort out our insurance claim, including uploading the dash cam footage. Once we cleared Denham, our next stop was Hut Lagoon and the town of Gregory. WesternAustralia.com says it's the extremely high level of salinity that gives the lagoon its unusual hue and its vibrancy changes with the season and time of day. The best time to visit is on a clear day around mid-morning or sunset. There are a number of places to stop and view this natural phenomenon along Point Gregory Road. On our way out of Gregory, we found the ruins of a convict hiring station. Wikipedia states the Linden Convict Hiring Depot was the first convict depot north of Fremantle, Western Australia. It was established in 1853 with 60 ticket of leave convicts and guards. It was established to supply labour to the Geraldine lead mine, uh, 64 kilometres north of the site on the Murchison River. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the middle of the screen. 
If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or even to share your experiences in the area. See you next time.